Hi, I'm Will Alexander, and this is our third edition of our ongoing series on dog show tips. Today we're going to talk about head carriage, moving your dog at certain speeds, and different leads that we're going to use on different dogs. The different leads we use for showing dogs on, the basic one we all know is the choker. Now this is a heavier chain and we use on dogs. The dogs tend to have a little more control with this lead and, mo and more so than anything else is the sound of the choker tightening that they respect more so than the actual feel. Remember the lead is a, sir, a signaling device not a toe chain. The next one is a resco. This resco clasps on top of the dog's head. It's used primarily for directional dogs teaching them how to um, carry their head, which creates the whole carriage of the dog when you're moving them. And again, I don't want to see your hand any higher than that. See the dog's head's about there. I don't want to see your hand way up here. I don't want to see your hand way down here. I want it comfortable about waist level. The next one is a martingale. If you look close, the martingale is still a chain and it tightens up to a point, but not entirely like a choker. It's, it's sort of a combination of these two leads of the Resco and the typical choke chain. I use this for directional again, but I also can use it on poodles because you can still spin it around and not worry about messing up their hair for one thing. And it's a, it's a carriage lead again as well. It creates carriage, head placement, and so on. This is a soft choker. I use this mostly on veteran dogs, dogs that have, have shown quite a bit and they know what they're doing. It's the same lead as the chain lead, but it's a softer lead. You can still have the same control. You can put it on top or below. It's a nice lead. I use that a lot. And this is a leather lead. I tend not to use these as much as most people do, but it's the same thing. It's just a different feel. It's still uh, a, a part of this lead. It's the, same, it's the same as the choker or the soft choker. It's just a leather version of it. It's a little tighter and it tends to be, since it's, since it's so thin, it tends to get into the, their throat a little. Are you okay? Yep. <laughs> a lot of people put the collars on wrong, the chokers, the, the, the collars themselves. To put it on correctly, you should look at it, and from, from my view, it should be a backwards P. From your view, it should be a correct P. It should go over the dog's head just like that. And the reason we do it this way, when it, choke, when it tightens up, it still releases. You can still send a signal, but you're not going to choke the dog. When you put it on backwards, which is this way, it tends not to release. And the dog ends up gagging going around the ring. And you'll know right away. I've walked into a ring, the judge says, take them around. First few steps, I'm thinking, oh my, it's on backwards. And I've had to stop and correct it. <coughs> what I'd also like to talk to you about today is attention to detail again on this lead. A lot of people, you'll see some handlers and non-handlers, they'll go around the ring, they'll leave this tail out. I don't ever want to see that, any of you people. Roll it all up into one one ball, hide it in your hand. I don't want it any higher than about there. And remember, this is a signaling device. This is not a toe chain. This is not for dragging your dog around. This is for signaling your dog, letting, you know, letting your dog know what you want from them. You can break your dog by checking up and verbally talking to them. A lot of people will pull back, and that's, not, that's the wrong signal to take, because you're going forward, but yet you're pulling back. You're making a mistake. You're sending the wrong signal. Let's go, but not really. Check up and tell them, them. Say, Fergie, slow down. Use your body weight. You outweigh most of the dogs you show. Use your body weight. Slow them down with your body weight, signaling up and talking to them. Eventually, once your dog gets used to it, you'll be going around the ring. And all you have to do is give them a slight little check and they'll know exactly what you want. Again, what I was talking about was is using this as a signaling device. A lot of you people that are new in the sport will just take their dog and they'll just run with it and hope for the best. You, you've got to work your dog slowly, work no more than five minutes a day, dogs get bored. But if you're working with the lead, I want you to work like this. So as you're going along, for, I want you to slow her down just by that, talking, and she knows. I, I stopped, I checked up, and she felt my weight stop. She knew exactly what I wanted from her. If I was going a little bit faster, slow down, Ferg. For you beginners out there, I'm going to give you a little bit of homework. I want you to utilize everything we taught you today, using the lead as a signaling device, not a toe chain. 
I'm going to take Fergie down, bring her back. I'm going to use my weight and my voice to stop her at that end. And I'm also going to do the same thing when I get to this end. But we're going to do it slowly because your dogs aren't ready for high speed yet. So something like this. Come on, Ferg. You check her, Ferg. Slow down, Ferg. Good girl. See how I signaled up when I did that. I'm going to switch hands so you guys can see what I'm doing. Again, this way. Come on, Ferg. Check up. Slow down. Good girl. And slow down. Now I'm going to do it down and back at a regular speed for the show for Fergie and you'll see how we do it. Now it may seem a little faster for you because you won't notice me actually stopping and talking to her, but you will see the pause. Come on, Fergie. Good girl. Slow her down. Slow her down. Good girl. The lead is a signaling device, it is not a tow chain. Most people make the mistake that when they're moving their dogs, they signal back and pull back on their dog. That's sending their dogs the wrong signal. You don't, you're, you're saying to your dog, I want you to go forward, but I don't really want you to go forward. You try to signal your dog by checking up, using your voice, talking to your dog, and your weight of yourself to slow your dog down. So when you're moving your dog, rather than pull back, you would move your dog, signal up, and stop your dog. Good girl. A lot of people when they move their dogs, they move their dog rather than moving with their dog. Such as they want their dog to, and they force the dog to do things. I don't want to see that. I want to see you moving with your dog. The handler shouldn't even be visible. You should move with your dog nice and easy. A lot of people make the mistake, mostly young people, when they're moving, they think they're on display and they try to loft themselves or suspend themselves as they're moving. Run with your dog as if you were running a race. You're not racing your dog, you're running with your dog in a relay, so you stay with the dog completely. I don't want to see arm way up here showing off. Handler should be invisible. Lead here, just controlling the dog. Just a quick recap. Lead placement. Attention to detail, keeping it clean. Lead completely in your hand. Arm placement. The lead is a signaling device, not a tow chain. Signal up and always start off slow and move with your dog. Easy, Sarah. Easy. How was that?